Hey folks, it's Wade again here showing you yet once again a bunch of wires that are basically configured like spaghetti. This really isn't that bad. There's three basic wires red, blue, and black. And those go to the ELS 950 series, the Jim's Electro Optic Level Switch. And I've basically just wired this up. Basically, uh, with these alligator clip cross connects, that's kind of adds to all the wiring mayhem. But really, what I want to focus in is the bowl of water here, which this is now submerged into as far as the head of it, and which is the lens. And then over here, you see this red LED, which represents the analog input into the GRT. HXR EFIS. So you'll see if in the sump the fuel was to go low below the sensor, then that light should ring off. So let's test it out. And there you see. So that is the essence of the guy in back, gallon back, thigh support low fuel sensor for each tank. This one happens to be for the right. I'm just testing it out. Now there's three or four different ways to hook these things up and uh, I may have to work with Grand Rapids to figure that out as far as the specific hookup to the EFIS. But overall you can see right here that the general application works. So with that I'm going to go ahead and install these guys. I just wanted to do a quick test. So I'll do it one more time before I sign off. There you can see in the background the LED lit up. And of course that LED lighting up would represent low fuel. And that's it. And again, that's the GEMS, which is J, or I'm sorry, G-E-M-S, the ELS 950 electro optic level switch. And I have one for each tank in the thigh support sump tank setup. Alright, so that's it. Quick little video here just to show you that. Oh, I might as well do it one more time. What the heck? All right, there we go. All right, signing off. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.